few things that come to mind as a coach is you've got to back yourself, you've got to play to your strengths. And I guess all those small details that come together to make a successful, successful team. As a bowler, once you let the ball go, there's nothing you can do. So I talk a lot with the bowlers about just controlling where you put the ball. Once that happens, if a plays a good shot, they play a good shot. We try to create an environment where we give them information, but it's up to them to take on board whether they you know, use that information wisely. But if you want your team to be dynamic in the field and outstanding in the field, then fitness is paramount. Ultimately, the basics, making sure you stop every run possible, making sure you take every chance possible. It, it's not always going to come to fruition, but making sure the basics are really strong. But also, I think that you talk about critical detail, then the team needs to be very organised. Kumar came out of uh, the net bowling group into our team, which was uh, a pretty incredible effort. That's how well he bowled in the nets and then got opportunities to play and did really well. I think those two guys are going to be key players for us this year. Both uh, young but very, very talented. I guess when we've had some successful periods, it's, it's been based around bringing a strong group of core players together. I guess we've learned some lessons about the balance of our team and how we need to structure our preparation.